come here and tell me where you are. I'll come pick you up. I love you. Hey, look, I'm sorry I wasn't trying to listen in. Peter's gone, eh, Will? Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't deserve your sympathy. I've been a stupid idiot. Look, you do know that I would never, never say anything, don't you? I do. You know, about him being in hospital or about factory. I'm a vault. Seriously, I know how to keep a secret. Thanks. Are you okay? We've well, got a lot going on at the minute. <laughs> well, there's a euphemism. But I did, I did have a bloke with me. Look, I'm, I'm not judging. Okay. I've got your back. Is there anything I can do to help? No. No, it's it's all down to me now. I'll come clean with Peter. It's just, well, hence his disappearing at. You know, maybe things have to get worse before they can get better. <laughs> Short sure, of his liver packing up for good, I don't see how they could possibly get any worse. Oh, you and Peter, honestly, you've been through so much together. You've got really strong foundations. I hope so. Definitely. And me and Adam, well, I think we're totally bit in the dust, but you and Peter, it's like a force of nature. Hey, it's me. Husband of the year. Sorry, that's not even funny. Um, listen, I miss you. I hate the way things are between us. I'm not ready to give up on us. I won't give up on us, okay? Did you know that they're selling Easter eggs in Fresco? I mean, I managed to resist just about. That shell, all lovely and thin. But talk about wishing your life away. You what? We've got to get through Christmas first, haven't we? It's going to be tough enough on Tracy and... Amy and Simon. Yeah, I can't even think about it. Well, it's coming. The goose is getting fat. Please don't tell me. Really? A bottle of whiskey? That's a genius idea, that, isn't it, Peter? He hasn't opened it. Something else happened? What? I thought you were all tucked up in bed. Come on. You can tell us. Come on, let's get him on. While I was falling off the wagon, Carlos was with the bloke. What? Says who? Says Carla. Right. Right, yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah, that is a major blow, but you're not going to find any answers in the bottom of that bottle. Thank you for that. You and Carla are meant for each other. Yeah, I thought so as well. And if that bloke's wallet hadn't turned up at the hotel, you know what? She'd have gotten away with it. She can't love him, though. I mean... He's not a threat. He's, he's a blip. Now, I'm going to take that bottle of whiskey, OK? And don't say no, because I'm a tragic young widower. And if you say no, you're going to set my grieving process back, OK? Before you ask me, no, I haven't been drinking. Sorry, I ignored your texts. I'm just sorry I stressed you out when you were at your lowest. If I could undo it, I would. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want me, me to leave? Do you want to leave? No. Thank God for that. I want to help you get back on track. And stay there and not derail you again like some stupid, selfish. We need to forgive each other. <laughs> we just keep talking. You know, we'll be honest with each other. We can get past this because it's us. It's always been us. Yeah. But you know, it's difficult. No, that you. I know. I know. But I've done worse. Just have to keep telling myself, reminding myself that. We can do this, can't we? Yeah. There's a meeting at eight. Be 
Will you come with me? Always. I got your text about my wallet. You idiot. Look, I slipped up. It was no biggie until you went full sackcloth and ashes and told him you cheated. Oh, well, don't worry. I didn't tell him it was with his dead sister's son. You do know me and you. It's never going to happen, right? Pardon? Oh, my... Oh, please. It was a moment of madness for both of us. Listen up, egomaniac. The only reason I told him was because he could smell a rat, OK? He's already low and fragile. I didn't want to add paranoia to his list. He can never know it's me. Oh, you think? You know, if Sarah found me this morning, that would have been it for me and her. I could have lost her forever, but I want her back. Oh, do you? Well, great. You've got clarity. I've got a partner, one drink away from death. He's going to want to know who it was. Yeah, well, don't worry. I've, I've told him it was one of the blokes from the conference. No, no, you'll want to know everything. Yeah, well, actually, we've decided to put it behind us and try and move forward. Oh, is that right? Just like that, yeah? Look, I know it's not going to be easy. <laughs> no, no, he's got to be playing you. Look, I will never tell him it was you, OK? For his sake. You'll keep digging. So we better keep the lie short and simple. Oh, really? Do you do a master class? You'll want to meet the guy. Look him in the eye and punch his lights out. Don't judge other people by your standards. Hi. Uh, I was at your hotel last night with a friend, and I think I left my wallet in the bar. Bear with me, sir. So, a member of staff did find a wallet this morning, but I'm afraid it's already been claimed. Ah, OK. Can I take some details in case yours turns up? Uh, no, no. Thank you. 